hello everyone welcome to another new video in this video i will show you how to design a sub circuit using proteus to have advantage to work with so i have designed this oscillator which oscillates actually it is a ring oscillator which produce oscillation from a dc voltage but i need five times of this oscillator so i have to use this circuit for five times and if i work with five same circuit then it will be very difficult to visualize at a time and monitor all the connection so i decided to design a sub circuit for this circuit and use the sub circuit for five times and then things won't look very awful so let's first simulate the thing and see how it works then we will design the sub circuit for this circuit and also check and see whether it works or not and we will also discuss about the global annotation which is very necessary if we use the sub circuit for multiple times so let's check out and run the simulation and from the simulation if we turn on the switch then the oscillation may occur reduce the time up and see this is our oscillation so let's go back and we start to design a sub circuit circuit So remove the input and switch and oscillator. Let's take the circuit we will work with to make a sub circuit. Copy to clipboard. And now go to sub circuit mode from the left panel. Take a sub circuit with an arbitrary shape so this is our sub circuit go to child sheet from here and here I will copy paste the circuit that I have designed from clipboard now I have to define the input and output terminal so I have one input terminal here and five output terminals so take one input terminal from the left panel from terminal library take the input terminal and put it on here connect them and I have five output terminal take output terminal from the terminal panel and put on their places four and the last one five connect them the is fine label them and it is very important to give them a specific name so I have one input so I will just keep the name as input and I have five output so I will just keep the name one two three four five so it's one name is 2 then 3 then 4 and the last one 5 so this is the, all the thing from child sheet let's go to parent sheet so 
so in parent sheet i have to modify the sub circuit now as the sub circuit has one input and five output so we have also defined this from here now go to sub circuit mode and click input port and output port and put it there in the places so i have one input port and i'll place it on here on left side okay now it's an important thing we have to remember we have to give the same name of input and output board that we have done in the child sheet so i will give the name as, as it was in the child sheet so input and output board was one two three four five respectively so it's two it's three four and last one five okay so our sub circuit is ready to work so let's connect the power and switch to the input port and let's take our sub circuit so this is the switch and now <coughs> we need a power for our sub circuit connect them up and to watch the oscillation we need a oscilloscope so let's take a oscilloscope from the component list and put it on a place on sheet and just connect it to the channel so now run the simulation and see the oscillation vary the time knob and turn on the switch and the oscillation here modify the timing and see the complete oscillation so it's our subject is ready just connection to the file sheet also properly so let's copy the sub circuit for multiple times we will do it for two times and see whether it works properly or not stop us stop the simulation copy the circuit for two times oh no we are directly come to the child sheet let's go back to the parent sheet and copy the sub circuit paste it just above the circuit so here it is connect it to the power source through the switch now observe that is it working properly or not that name has another name sub2 okay connect the power so it's swiss the input of the second sub circuit and the output to the oscilloscope okay let's run the simulation again and check it's working or not properly So see only the last one that we have copied sub circuit is working the another is not not working properly it's a very important things to know because if you don't know how to solve it then you will be stuck to your project so actually it's a matter of global annotation we have to use global annotator for the each sub circuit so that each component name will be different and so that the each sub circuit will work as different sub circuit or different name so 
so there will be no ambiguity so let's move from the tools and select global editor and do this let's go back to parent sheet select another sub circuit go to child sheet from tools select global editor current sheet and put up ok go back to our parent sheet now run the simulation i hope it will work now properly start the switch and see also it is working properly so this is how it works how we can design a sub circuit and copy it for multiple times and use global addition for working all the sub circuit properly so that's all thank you everyone for watching